Get down. Just touched down in London town. Bet they give me a pat. Tell them put the money in my hair right now. Someday, take me to New York. I love to see LA. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How long has it been, please? I'm so sorry, guys. I've been MIA. I can't lie. I've been gone for too long. Also, follow me on Instagram because I do upload very frequently on my Instagram. So, I'll put the link in the description bar down below. So, be sure to check me out there. I'm going to try and get myself up to doing one video a week and then eventually two videos a week. I just have to get myself into the, you know, the routine. I'll get there, guys. I'll get there bear with me but yeah today is a super fun crazy as y'all can see crazy ass look today um i'm gonna be imitating um this really talented artist milk one two four two two um so be sure to check this guy out let me just load up his insta because hello Bye bye. His name is Sergi. This is his Instagram, and basically, he's like a face chart artist, and he does all sorts of cool pictures like this. One that I'm going to be doing today. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is what I'll be doing today. That's what it looks like. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, so for this look, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35. 35C palette and it just basically looks like this full of loads of bright fun colours to use but um, today we're going to be mainly focusing with these two and also this yellow colour here so yeah I'm going to basically go in with the darker purple here and I'm just going to apply that into my crease oh, guys I need to do like more fun looks like this before we do any of that um, when you're using bright colours, it's always best to go in with a good, like, white canvas, basically, because you want the colours to show up as true to what they look like in the pan as possible, the eyeshadow pan. So, um, for this one, I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which is, mine's a bit battered, but don't watch that. <laughs> it's an old classic, but it's a good classic. And basically, this is going to act as my white canvas. So usually, I just go in with like a concealer. I don't usually bother with, um, you know, eyeshadow bases. I just use concealer and translucent powder. But because these colours are so bright, so I can't multitask. Yeah. So because these colours are so bright, I want to use a white canvas, and especially because I'm um, darker skinned it's a lot better to use a white canvas on my like if you're my skin type use a white canvas and it will show exactly how it looks in the pan basically so i'm just gonna put that all over the eyelid my legs are crazy right now you guys have a friend that whenever you like say a line the friend will like figure out what song has that line in there and they'll start singing it <laughs> like I just did there I am that friend I do that. this dark purple here and we're just going to put that into our crease and what we're going to do is just basically work this colour until it gets to this strong dark purple so you don't have to do it as dark as I'm doing but I want mine pretty dark so I'm gonna keep going in with this purple shade until I'm happy with the colour and because it's such a bold look I'm taking it quite high towards the brow bone as well some noise in the background it's just my family um, now I'm just gonna basically soften out the edges as you can see I've got a bit of a harsh line going on at the moment um, I'm just gonna soften the edges out with the lighter lilac shade here 
This is basically going to act as my transition colour. And just get those edges nice and soft, girl. From my sleek contour palette, I'm just going to use this gold shade as my um, brow bone highlight. So now we're going to be going in with this fuchsia shade here from the palette. And that's basically going to go into the middle and the outer corners of the eye. Move my brush in a side to side motion. and I'm just going to blend these colours together around the edges. But under the eyes, I'm going to put some of that same pink shade just right along the lower lash line. For in my waterline, I'm going to be using this Rimmel London Magnified Pencil. It's basically like a dual end one. One end's blue and then one end's like a nice metallic grey. And I'm going to be using this side to put into my lash line just to darken that up a bit. Would help if I screwed it up, innit? it? This black shade here just to help smock that out just a little bit more, like on this. You get rid of all the harsh lines that the pencil made as well. We apply pink just underneath that black again where we lost the colour. This look, to be honest, is kind of just, you know, going back and forth with the same exact colours just to make sure that everything's still got the same pigmentation. That is the eyeshadow Anita. <laughs> now we're gonna be going in with our NYX white liquid liner and we're just gonna be creating this kind of I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like you know like a joker that you'd see on a pack of cards sort of thing. I don't know why, but it reminds me of a joker. So yeah, we're just gonna be creating this kind of dotted line thing that we've got going on. I don't know what it's meant to be called, but I feel like it is from like a joker. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm talking trash, so. Okay, I better stop because it's kind of going into my forehead. <laughs> Let me just wipe that one, I don't like that. <laughs> Doki artichokey. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. Um, there is like a, I don't know if you can even see it, but <laughs> there is like a, a little yellow streak that's coming off the lower lash line. So I'm just going to quickly add that and then we can move on to the lips. I've got some Ardell lashes on. Um, I think they're called the fashion lashes. Yeah, that's what I have on for lashes. Of the lips, um, it's very, very dark, almost. I think it's black, to be honest. And there's a black outline in the lips, and then there's a very dark red. So what I'm gonna do to achieve that is, I'm gonna use my Maybelline New York 24 hour black eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this to outline my lips. And then, I'm going to use this Colourpop lipstick because this is like the nearest one um, to the picture that I've got. 
Um, this one is in LAX and I'm going to use that as the actual lipstick in the middle. so this is the finished look i do hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to click the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments so yeah until next time guys i'll see you next time bye